Good afternoon children. I once again welcome you for today's class. Today we are going to start with a new chapter. Lesson number 4. Subtraction. For this children you have to refer your textbook page number 23 and take a new fresh page on your, in your math notebook for today's date. Write the heading lesson number 4, subtraction, page 23. Okay children, are you ready for today's class? Let's begin with our subtraction sums. Children, your lesson number 4 is subtraction. Subtraction means you have to take away or remove and find the answer from the given number. Now here if you see on the board there are two sums given here. I will explain you how to do this subtraction sums. Please pay attention and listen carefully how to do it. Now here the first sum. When you are doing the subtraction sum, you have to start from the unit place, from behind. From here you have to start subtracting. Now let's do this first one. 8 minus 6. Now 8 minus 6 that means from 8 if you remove 6, the answer will be 2. Answer will be 2. Okay. Now here in the tens place we have 7 and 9. Now from 7 we have to minus 9. Now if you see 7 is a small number, 9 is a greater number. We cannot cut or remove 9 from 7. So for that you have to carry or borrow from here. From the neighbor we have to borrow one number. That is from 3. You have to from this 3 you have to remove 1. That will be 2. So we will cut here, we'll put a line over here, cut it right here 2. And this one will give it to this 7 and write this 7 here. That is 17. And now from 17 you have to minus 9. That is after 9 you have to count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That is 8. So we will write over here 8 answer. Do you understand children? Now again here you have to minus. Now we cannot minus from the 3 because we have cut 3 and written 2 here. So we have to minus from 2, 4. Again 2 is small. From 2 we cannot cut 4. So what we will have to do? Take from the neighbor 1. That is from 6. When you cut 1 it will become 5. And give it here. So it becomes 12. Now after 4 count up to 12. You will get the answer 8. And now here 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 the answer will be 3. Do you understand children how to do? Only when the number is small over here, you have to take from the neighbor, borrow 1 and give it to the number and do the sum. Now let's see the second sum. The second sum is 5000 minus 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if you see here, you are having 0, 0, 0 and 5. Now can you minus from 0, 5? We cannot minus. So we have to take from the neighbor. Now each neighbor is also having 0. So we cannot take from the neighbor. Then we have to take from the other neighbor. From here also we cannot take 0 because there are, he is also having 0. So what we have to do is, you have to take from this 5, 1. Remove from 5, 1, it become 4. And give it to this person, this, to the hundreds place. And write here 1 and 0, 10. Now from this 10, you remove 1, that will become 9. And give this 1 to this. So it will become 10. Okay. Now from this 10, again you remove 1, it will become 9. Okay, it will become 9 and then give this unit place 0, 1, that will become 10. And now you do 10 minus 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. And now here you will do 9 minus 4. Again that is also 5. And now here 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 means how much? 6. And here it will be 4 minus 2, that is 2. Did you understand children how to do the sum? I am explaining once again. Here it is 0, so we have to take from here. Here is also 0, so we will take from here. Here is also 0, so we cannot take from there. So we will have to take from this 5. Take from this 5, 1, we will get 4 over here. Give it to this number. That is the 100 place number. There it will become 10. From that 10, you have to remove 1 will become 9 and give it to the 10th place. Again you remove the 1 from the 10th place, you, you will get
get 9 over here and give that one to this unit place number and then you have to do the subtraction. Did you understand children? Welcome back children. Let's start with our lesson number 4 subtraction. Children, before we begin our subtraction, so that you open your textbook page number 23 and take a new fresh page of your math notebook. On the top you write the lesson number 4 subtraction and write page 23 and then you can refer your textbook page number 23. Now let's begin with our exercise. On the first page you will write lesson number 4 subtraction. Then write down the first question arrange vertically and subtract. Then you will make write on the first question 586 minus 425. Then draw the box with a pencil. Write the 100 tens units. Copy down the question 586 minus 425. Now let us solve the sum. 6 minus 5, 1. 8 minus 2, 6. 5 minus 4, 1. 1. Now let us do question number 2. 465 minus 179. Make the box with a pencil. Write down 100 tens units. Then copy down the question 465. 179 minus 179. Now let us do the sum. Now children, you cannot do 5 minus 9. So we have to borrow from the neighbor that is get from 6, 1. We will get 5. And give it to this 5 and write the 15. Now 15 minus 9, it will be 6. Now again we cannot minus from 5 7 so you have to borrow from 4 remove 1 from there we will write 3 and give the 1 to the 5 it will become 15 so 15 minus 7 8 and 3 minus 1 2 did you understand how to do the sum children now let us do the third sum again first write down the question then make the draw the box with the pencils write 100 tens units then copy down the question 542 minus 351. Now the start from the behind 2 minus 1, the answer will be 1. Now we cannot minus from 4, 5. So we have to take 1 from 5, it will become 4 and give it to 4, it will become 14. Now 14 minus 5, 9. And 4 minus 3, 1. Now let us do question number 4. It is 754 minus 287. Draw the box. Write 100 tens unit. Copy down the question. 754 minus 287. Now let us do the sum. We cannot do cut from 4, 7. So we have to borrow from 5. When you cut from 5, 1, it will become 4. And we give it to 4, here it will become 14. Now, 14 minus 7, the answer will be 7. Now, again, we cannot cut from 4, 8. So, we have to take from 7, 1. From when we remove from 7, 1, it will become 6. And give it to 4, here it will become 14. So, now 14 minus 8, the answer will be 6. And 6 minus 2, 4. Now, let us do the fifth sum. 500 minus 365. Write 100 tens unit, then copy down the question 500 minus 365. Now, children, we cannot cut from 0, 5. So, we have to borrow from 0. There it is 0, so we cannot take from there. So, we have to take from 5, 1. We will give 4, it will become 4. From that, we have to give it the tens place 0 and write that 10. From the 10, we will remove 1 and then give it to the 0 in the unit place, which will become 10. And now we will do 10 minus 5, we will get 5. And in the 10th place, 9 minus 4, 9, sorry, 9 minus 6, you will get 3. And 4 minus 3, 
it will be 1 now the sixth sum 502 minus 307 again draw the box write 100 tens units copy down the question 502 minus 307 now children you cannot cut from 2 7 so we will have to borrow from the tens from the tens place there is 0 so we will have to borrow from the 100 place that is from 5 when you remove 1 it will become 4 give it to the 10 it will be give it to the 0 it will become 10 from 10 you will remove 1 it will become 9 and give it to 2 it will become 12 in the units place now 12 minus 7 you will get 5 9 minus 0 9 and 4 minus 3 1 Children, the sums you have to do in your math notebook. Now, if you see in your textbook, page number 23, question number 2, it is a statement sums. So, we will do that now. You will write down. Children, question number 2, if you see in your textbook, it is 5, if to 400 minus 100 is 300 solve 477 minus 177 write three subtraction problems with the answer 200 children this question number two you are going to do it on your own in your math notebook you will write down that question number two and then you will solve it okay you can take your parents help for that now i am showing you question number three of your textbook Rajani buys a uniform worth Rs. 372 and a school bag worth Rs. 250. How much more does she spend on the uniform than on the bag? Now, for this some children, you have to write statement. Now how we will write? Just see. First, we will write cost of uniform, 375, then cost of a school bag. 250 then you will write amount spent upon a uniform 372 minus 250 then you will make the box on the side with 100 tens unit then copy down the question 372 minus 250 and then do the subtraction 2 minus 0 2 7 minus 5 2 and 3 minus 2 1 after that you will write the answer down there Rajani spend rupees 122 more than on the uniform than the school bag. Now, let us do question number 4. The answer to an addition is 195, one of the number is 427, which is the other number, one, other number. So, here also is the statement sum, first we will write answer to an addition 915, one of the number 427, other number is 915 minus 427. Then you will make the box there on the side. Write 915 minus 427 and do the subtraction. Now we cannot minus 5 from 7. So we will borrow from 1, it will become 0 and give 5, give the 1 to 5 will become 15. 15 minus 7, the answer will be 8. Now we cannot minus from 0 to 2. So from 9 we will have to take borrow 1, it will become 8 over there and give the 1 to 0, it will become 10. Now, 10 minus 2, 8 and 8 minus 4, 4. So, the answer you will write the statement you will write down there. The other number is 488. Now, let us do the fifth question. The answer to an addition is 915. Choose any number as smaller than 800 as one of the number. Find the other number. I will write answer to an addition the first statement 915 now one of the smaller number less than 800 you can take any number i have taken here 789 the other number is 915 minus 789 so draw the box write 100 tens unit write 915 minus 789 and do the subtraction now we cannot minus from 59 so we will have to borrow from 1 when you remove 1 from 1 it will become 0 and give it to 5 it will become 15 now 15 minus 9 
4 sorry 6 now we cannot minus from 0 8 so we will borrow from 9 1 that will become 8 and give it to 0 it will become 10 10 minus 8 2 and 8 minus 7 1 now answer you will write the other number is 126 now question number 6 using the numbers 534 and 252 write a subtraction word problem and solve it now for that we will write first the problem the problem we Question number 6 children, the uh, question is using the numbers 5, 3, 4 and 2, 5, 2, write a subtraction word problem solved. We have to make the question first, that is the problem. So, we will write the question in this way, see how we are going to write. The problem will be, there are 534 mango trees, 252 apple trees in an orchard. How many more mango trees are there than apple trees? The statement will be number of mango trees 534, number of apple trees 252, more of mango trees that is 534 minus 252. Then make the column, write 100 tens units, write the sum 534 minus 252 and then now do the subtraction 4 minus 2 will be 2. We cannot cut from 3, 5, so we will have to borrow from the 100 plus 5, 1, it will become 4, give it to the 3, it will become 13. Now, 13 minus 5, it will be 9, 13 minus 5, sorry, it will be 8 and 4 minus 2, 2. Then we will write the answer statement, mango trees are more than apple trees by 282. Children, you have to do these sums in your mass notebook. Thank you.